Kevin and Michael go for job interviews and Kevin has more credentials and is more experienced. However, he doesn't get the job. Okay, this is going to be a good day. I have some really good credentials. And I got Paxton University with a 4.0 GPA. I think I can get this job. Your resume looks good, but I don't think you got the best fit for this job. So congratulations, Michael. Hey, Mom. Hey. Guess what? What? I got the job. Oh my god, great, honey. Yeah, I'm going to be starting to work first day Monday morning. I'm really confident. Good luck. Hope you have a great time. Thanks. In the U.S., black workers are less likely than white workers to be employed in a job that is consistent with their level of education. <sighs> uh, officer, what seems to be the problem? Uh, I don't think I understand. I didn't do anything. I think this is all just a big uh, misunderstanding. Please, I'm innocent. I, I haven't done anything wrong. <sighs> in New York City, 88% of police stops in 2018 involved black and Latin people, while 10% involved white people. Kevin is an African American man, and this racism directed towards him will follow throughout his life. Hey, what are you doing? Stop stealing stuff and leave immediately. Sir, sir, no, I was just seeing if the gum fit my pocket. I wasn't stealing anything, I swear. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'll leave. Please, don't call the police. Overnight, Minneapolis on fire. The protesters leaving an auto parts store in flames. This others seen looting a local Target. I was a robber last time. Why can't I be a cop? You have to be the robber. Look at your skin. You're always your type of people. This short film is meant to shed light on all the inequalities that colored people face in their daily lives and how most of it isn't even brought up. Looking at the current events that have been shaping our world, we must remember to never be afraid to speak up and support each other. When the color of your skin is seen as a weapon, you will never be seen as unarmed.